Shalom, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halayim La Alahayin Awa Yehawa Ba'ashim Yawashai Ba'ashim Rakaakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yehawa Ba'ashim Yawashai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And the Lord will in this lesson will be entitled, Are You in a Stagnant Estate? Self-improvement. You know? And the uh, Lord will in the elect of Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai be edified. And uh, also, if it be the Lord's will, this lesson will be pretty much of a, uh, pretty much a quick hitter. You know, so... Uh, You know, let's get right into it. Let me see if I have everything I need. Right. So first and foremost, let's look up the definition of the word stagnant. <clears throat> and it says, showing no activity, dull and sluggish. See that? Well, not dull, dull, right? And sluggish meaning inactive, right? Lacking in energy, lifeless, right? Slow, uh, dull, lazy, see? Slothful. Right? Slow moving. Right, so uh, and Salaki, you know, I got the dog right here, being an asshole. <laughs> Come on, let go. But uh, move. All right, but um, so you see it, and let's uh, let's look up uh, self improvement. So, for self-improvement, it says personal development. Move with this shit. For, self, uh, for self-improvement, it says personal development or self-improvement consists of, acti of activities that develop a person's capabilities and potential, build human... Okay. This damn dog. Build human capital, facilitate, uh, facilitate employability, and enhance quality of life and the realization of dreams and aspirations. Right. So, uh, you know, we should be self improving all around, physically, mentally, spiritually. You know, emotionally, right? Uh, developing better control of your emotions, things of that sort, dealing with emotional uh, self improvement or emotional improvement, rather. But um, sticking to the point, let me get Second Peter 3 and uh, 18. It says, But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. To him be glory both now and forever a month. And that's what we have to do, man. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our power. Right? Which that's self-improvement. You know, that's part of self-improvement. So uh, let me also get Second Corinthians 4 and 16. And it reads, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. You know, and uh, it was a video that I ran across a while back, but I didn't get to watch it. But um, I believe it was entitled, Develop a Routine. And you know, um, as a result of the development of a routine, 
that you know that makes me think about this yet the inward man is renewed day by day right that daily routine <clears throat> that is uh edifying you know that builds you that um benefits you right you know because you got to remember even meditation meditation is a part of our well when you read about isaac isaac went out to meditate in the field you know so hey that may be incorporating meditation into your daily routine to better the uh that mental self-control you know and there's different things you can meditate upon during meditation right and there's different types you know you have reflectional meditation which i'm no expert but i i do know some things you know but um sticking to the point let's see let me get romans 12 and 2 And it reads, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, that unacceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And we also get Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse 21. And it reads, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahushai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the whole man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. See? 25. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. And you know, this, is, this lesson is to myself first and foremost, because there's always room for improvement, and there's many areas wherein you can improve. You know, like I listed, spiritual, you know, but you also have physical. If you don't work out, it will behoove you to start working out because that also um, affects the mental, the, the you know, your mind. And really in a positive way, you know, that also helps build self mental self-control working out because you have to exercise mental self-control when you're on that last rep, you got to make yourself keep fucking pushing, man. And that's all through the mind. It all starts with the mind, right? Mind, body, and spirit, you know? So let me get a... Uh, let me grab this. So let me get... Let's see. Let me get Colossians, the third chapter. Verse 9, and it reads, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. And Salakia, you know, got the uh, plane flying. So, uh, Lord will not end up with this, but I'm going to wait till the plane passes. Right, so let me get second address to fourteen chapter. Verse thirteen and it reads now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of men, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And hasty to flee from these times. See that? So putting off the weak nature as men is a part of self-improvement as well. Right? It also says, and now renounce corruption. Right? So that's pretty much the point. You know, but keep, you know, also, um, you know, breaking certain habits that we built, you know, whether it be you know, just a bill, you know. When you come to the knowledge that those habits are off, you have to exhort to break them. Right? So that's pretty much the point. With that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and terrible power. 
Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone once again. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashimi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord Willing. Why Yahweh Bashimi Awashai Babu Kasha Ababa Ba. Why Shalom DT soon as stay sharp. Keep pushing.